So another downside for this laptop is the temperature itself. The temperature can bend very crazily. Oh my god, you try to look at that. It's near to the boiling point. It's 84, 85 degrees Celsius. Are you kidding me? I can almost boil an egg on it. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today... Ta-da! I finally got my Mac Mini. So I have arrived in Samui Putra Mall and I'm walking in to the main entrance now. As you can see most of the shops they are still closing. Oh yeah! Here it goes, I'm coming for switch. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. So here you go, my M1 Mac Mini 2020. It seems easy and straightforward, but you never know how much I've gone through before this happened. I've searched through in internet to understand more about Mac Mini, scratching my head to figure out which is the best suit for me as I'm not sure. Should I go for the 16 gig or the 8 gig RAM model? Currently, there's no store in Malaysia has ready stock for 16 gigabyte RAM model, which I initially wanted to have. Then this, I'm also dilemma in choosing which storage to have, 256 gigabyte or 512 gigabyte. Whether it is worth to have extra 200 and this is 6 GB storage for the price of 800 ringgit. So I came up with a brilliant idea to make the choice. So this is how the brilliant purchase decision happened. Here you go, M1 Mac Mini 2020. So for information, I've chosen the base model 8 GB RAM with 256 GB storage. The reason is, I don't want to wait another 2 months for the pre-order of 16 gb RAM model and I can spend 800 ringgit Malaysia on upgrading higher storage for this Mac Mini. And now you can use your standard chartered credit card for the easy payments up to 36 months. The participating merchandise are machines and also switch. So now, here you go. Mini 2020 M1 chip. Let's unbox it now. But never mind. Nice. Oh my god. <sighs> Finally. It smells so good. plastic for you to pull it up okay let me to bring you go around to have a look what are the things inside yeah basically it's an instruction yeah manual book there are two uh, version one is in English and this is one in Chinese and C one big Apple logo for Apple fans who want to paste it on any way that you want to show off. For me, I never use it. And one power cable. All right, it's a UK three pin power cable. It's pretty simple and that's it. They don't even give you HDMI cable. Oh my God. Why is Apple so stingy nowadays? Okay, so we just put it aside. All right, now it is the time to unbox it. Okay, so pretty simple, very minimalist 
design where you can see a big Mac Mini un underneath it it's a plastic cover and the whole body is basically wrapped by the aluminium uni body it's quite solid the material itself is nice it's premium and don't forget that here is actually wrapped by a layer of plastic So here is the power cable, power port, here is the internet port and two Type-C port and one HDMI port and two USB ports and one 3.5mm audio jack and this is basically the space for the fan to um, ventilate the air from inside. Okay. So how cool is that? Do you like it? I personally love it. The design is typical Apple minimal design. It looks so elegant. And the color, I just love the color itself. It's an aluminum silver color. Yeah, everything looks so nice. So that's it. Let's jump into the setup itself. Okay, let's on it. the interface once you switch on the PC it shows that you need to connect your Bluetooth mouse and also the keyboard since it is somehow like a CPU it doesn't come with the keyboard it doesn't come with the uh, mouse itself so once you have connected your keyboard and your mouse then you are able to um, control the PC now and you have to go through the standard process of setting up a Mac so be patient and let's go through all the steps Here you have to um, test the keyboard that connected to your PC and just follow the instruction and type on the key that they are, they are instructing. So here you go, everything is nicely set up and we can start using this M1 Mac Mini 2020.